company of Ma retired Major General Leo Shagun Ajiborosha, who is the President and Chairman and Council Institute of Strategic Management. And uh, you were talking about when the MOU was signed and then some overzealous... Before the MOU. Signed. Oh, before... When the edict was amended. This was in 1990, wasn't it? 1991. 1991. Okay. The MOU was amended around uh, uh, early September. But before the, the MOU, you will just carry that the name of the university has been changed and is jointly owned by so 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 and so so so. But it will not spell out the nitty gritty of the management, administration, and okay, things. But it was supposed to, was it? Pardon me? Was it supposed to spell out all those details? No, that will be contained in an MOU. Okay, but yeah. what about the signatories? The signatories are between me and Adisa. The MOU came later, it was around November, and I had to force that MOU. What were you at the time? I was the military administrator of Oshu State. I started Oshu State. Okay. Okay. So, in essence, what I'm saying is that we had a teething problem, all right, in, initially, after the access sharing. Um, there were these overzealous uh, staff, the civil servant on the part of Oyo State, who had not forgotten the idea that it does not belong to them alone, mm. that is not joint ownership. Because the Minister of Education here was still controlling uh, the, the university. Yes. Well, uh, on, on that point of joint ownership now, the Oyo State government is saying that that said amendment was not jointly signed by the two uh, military administrators. That is the military administrator of Oyo State and Oshun State they said it couldn't have been signed by the two of you because no two states can jointly sign an edict. I read what you are saying. He yes. um, is not saying we, the initial governors, in that uh, publication, yes. was talking of something done in 1999 by country, uh, uh, Commission of Police, Oyakiri. Okay. Right. You, are, you are coming from an earlier point 91. now. 91. Eight years before yes. this. Eight years before So are they, pre are they pretending not to know about this MOU <coughs> eight years before? The MOU was signed even if Oyakiri was to amend. Because why Oyakiri must have done this was that the military was going. Yes. And all military edicts must be turned into law by the incoming yeah. Uh, state assembly. Okay. I'm sure that's why he uh, prepared it in readiness. But even if he's going to do that, something that is jointly owned, all right, he should have invited the military governor of or should state who was called to Philosophy uh, yes. They sit down together, they look at the former MOU, import it to the new edict. Okay, but he unilaterally... Okay. I, don't, I don't know what he did. Okay. I don't know what okay. he did. Okay. In, in, order that, in, the paper. in order for that to have had its desired effect, does it mean then that both houses, both states, as you also said by implication, both houses of representatives or state assemblies now will have to jointly pass when that is into law? Well, they, should, that they, they should come together and find out, I mean, form out what it, it should be on your state edict. Okay. Because you cannot have two edicts mm. in someone's land. It's not possible. The edict that will govern that place will be edict of Oyo State. But there must be input from Oshu State. What exactly then? The, the overzealous ones you talked about. What did the, they do wrong? The overzealous ones initially was that um, no, uh, no sooner we were carved out. It was like war. Two weeks after we were moving into the state, it was like war. People who had been chased out of office or should state indigenous, people who had been friends before, where wives who were indigenous of Oyo were asked to move to a should state and follow their husbands who are civil servants. They were being locked out, they who were being seized from them, and I became so worried. Even when Nadu um, Kakitola, the admission we supposed to be based on catchment area yes. of fifty one percent for them of our students and forty nine for us was not was thrown overboard for the intake that was coming in in September. We were not observing all we those were not observing. Again. Perhaps because we didn't have a firm MOU, it was just an ordinary edict. Okay. 
So I didn't pay the counterpart funding. I got annoyed. I didn't pay the counterpart funding for September. I didn't pay for October. Why, why was that? Why? Because of what, what was happening. Because your, 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 your members, your people from yes. our yes. were being treated badly. They were being treated badly. And I had to protect them. I'm there because of them. So I didn't pay the counterpart funding. Emissaries came from Oyo. Uh, from Oyo. And emissaries came from leaders came to meet me, I stated my own portion, and they said, oh, we are correct. I even wrote to the president, to General, to Admiral Laikumu, and said, look, I don't know what is happening. I believe we are from the same constituency. Why, why should this be? And I think uh, General Desardin was called, and he didn't know most of what was happening. Okay. That was what informed the first MOU, because I said, before I pay the counterpart for it, we must sit down and agree. Hmm. On modalities exactly. of togetherness. Now, and that MOU was signed in November. Okay, but ever since that time, uh, until recently, that's when we started uh, all of these hit the uh, news headlines again. Was there were there any attempt for them to work together? Because it looks as though they had been working together thereafter until now. And, uh, since I left, since I left 19 years ago, uh, I don't think I've ever had any problem between the two states. Things have been moving amicably. But I was put aback. I started becoming worried when about two months ago I started reading on the pages of newspaper stone throwings to each other, volleys of barrages of volleys being thrown at each other and all sorts of things. The last one week has been so terrible. Is what Fella, we call a sort of rough or rough or fight. We are going towards what Fella we call anukula. Have, have I mean physical confrontation? Not physical confrontation, but okay. what you read in the pages of newspaper is worse than uh, the physical confrontation. It's even better to go and box than this government throwing stone at this, this one throwing So, sir, what do you think is causing this new development? Why is I, this? I don't know. They are members of the same political party. I am not a politician, and I don't intend to be one. But they must have reasons why they are doing this. But no matter what reasons they have, they should put the interests of the people first. So I've got a question, another yes, question please. to ask you. Um, initially, when, when the two states went apart, you, you, you split most of the schools amongst the states. Yes. Why wasn't this particular uh, institution, why wasn't it uh, uh, um, either given to one of the states, exactly. like the other, other schools were? Well, you know, what we did then was to borrow from the wisdom, the spirit and wisdom, of from which when the old western uh, region was split into uh, Undo, Ogun, and Oyo, they looked at all the Udua companies, subsidiaries, yes. put them together to form a conglomerate. And they now say this will be a symbol of heritage. Up to today, Udua is doing fine. They are not fighting themselves. They are not uh, throwing bottles and stones at themselves. That was the spirit that informed us then that, look, we cannot split Everything. this. It's a structure. Yes. But, 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 but Laduke Akintola University is situated in Ubumosho. Yes. And Ubumosho is in Oyo State. Yes. So, okay, let's look at this thing logically now. The school is sited physically in Oyo State. Yes. Oyo State says there's a reluctance on the part of Osho uh, to let go. Why doesn't Osho State go and form the, its own? They cannot let go. What the federal says is that this thing belongs to us. It's an asset. Share it 51 49. Yes, but how will you share something that is physically okay. in or your there are, or there are options. There are options to it. Okay, what are the options? The options to it is if 